Where are we now? Anywhere and nowhere. I don't like this place. Let's move on. It's cold. <coughs> it's always cold. Why are we here, Jasmine? To witness another life. Let's rest. Please. We must rest. No more, Jasmine. There's so many lives. We've seen enough. We cannot rest. We're told. Do you know? We can't stay. We can't linger anywhere. But part invisibly by the world. What did you do? Later. Now, tell us now. Any time. All time. Eternity. Who's that? It's not important. A man who joined us here. He's old. Can't we go to him? When did he live? Past, present, future. It's Christmas, a dinner holiday, and a tree. The time of the rolling year we stuff the most. This face, so bitter. It's a bitter town. Tell us, Jasmine. The past. <coughs> Scrooge was alone, old Martin said. <coughs> Scrooge and he had been partners for a over how many years? The firm was known as Scrooge and Marley. Some people in the business were called Scrooge. Scrooge was sometimes Marley, but he answered both names. It was all the same to him. Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, he was a tight fisted hand at the grindstone, a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, covetous old sinner. Hard as flint, secret, self contained, solitary as an oyster. The cold even in photo of features. Nipped his pointed nose and scribbled his cheek, and it was cold. Cold, bleak, biting weather, and there he sat, counting his money, counting his money on Christmas Eve. <coughs> Ten pounds, <coughs> eight shillings, two pennies, and three farthings. <coughs> yes, yes, what is it? What do you want? Uh, if you please, sir. Well, I came in to... No, you can't. Uh, well, what, sir? You can't have any more coal for the fire. Do you think I'm made of coal? No, sir, but it was... Mr. Cratchit, have you considered the monstrous price these scoundrels are asking for a miserable hundredweight of coal? Ruinous! <coughs> Ruinous, Cratchit! Don't take care. We should all be in the poorhouse. Yes. All of us. Yes, sir. But Not another word, Cratchit. Or I should be obliged to find myself another class. God bless my soul. If it wasn't Christmas Eve, I should order up my premises for good. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir? Does sorry, sir, replace the guineas you burn away in there every week? I'm afraid I've been too kind to you, Cratchit. Too kind. What's that you've got? A uh, weekly account, sir. Well, well, let me have it. Every week, who does? You 
sir. Then never mind Mr. Marlin's high opinions of you. What explanation have you for this? It wouldn't have happened any other time, sir. Just at night, I want to finish the accounts quickly and go home. And why do nights of all nights pray? Why? It's Christmas Eve. I'm aware of that. Your wife and children. Your wife and children are no concern of mine. Why, why? Answer me, sir. Have I a wife? No, sir. Have I any children? No, sir. Well, I want to go home. That's beside the point. Well, Cratchit, you'll be good enough to take this book and make a fresh account before you leave tonight. Tonight? Tonight! And a correct one, sir. Now go. <coughs> I said hey, you this is a cold dinner, sir. Uh, 
вечера. Oh, 
certain, sir. Come on. Very good. Seven pounds is better than one, Cratchit. Uh, remember that. I'll remember it, sir. Moment and at every moment of the light behind you, 
You have been forging such a chain for yourself. No! I have done nothing! You have done much! Seven years ago, your chain was as long and as heavy as this. Not one minute of the day has passed since then. But you have added to the heavy burden that you must carry through the life after death. Yours is a ponderous chain, Eleanor. Oh, you can't see it. But it's there, Eleanor. It's there! Jacob? Yeah. Oh, Jacob. Help me. Give me some company. I'll tell you what I was doing. I came to warn you, Eleanor. me? Yes. There is still a chance you may escape my fate. There is? A very small one. Ebenezer, you will be yes. haunted! Ooh. Haunted by three spirits. <laughs> is there a chance you mentioned Jacob? It is. Then I think I'd rather not have it. You must! Without their help, you can't hope to avoid the path I tread. <laughs> Expect the first tomorrow night, when the bell tolls one. Couldn't I take them all at once? And I get them over with? Expect the second on the second night at the same hour. And the third on the third night at the last stroke of midnight. Goodbye, Eloisa. You'll never see me again. Oh, goodbye, Jacob. And for your own sake, Eloisa, remember. Remember what has passed between us. Remember. Pity. I'm only a night gown on, and it's freezing out. 
that's a bad What? Oh, no, thank you, sir. Ebenezer, that's for you. What? Well, thank you, sir. Well, uh, we must leave you for to get down then. <coughs>
be? Was it a claw? What is it? It might be a claw. There's a little flesh upon it. Look here. Mm. Mankind, look here. Look, look down here. Spirit, are they yours? They are man's and they came to me appealing from their fathers. This boy is ignorant. This girl is want. You wear them both and thousands like them. But most of all, you wear this boy. For on his brow, he can do unless the God can be right. But, but deny it! Slide the books and tell you. Forget these two and avoid the end. But have they nowhere to go? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Well, 
she's not coming. Not coming? Not coming on Christmas Day? Oh, Jay. Martha, not coming to eat. Mama, is it time to look at the goose? All right, run along. Only don't touch it. I'll race you. It's starting before me. Peter, you will keep an eye on them. Have it on the floor in two minutes. Yes. I met Mr. Scrooge's death on my own. He asked after you. They 
hears a noise, makes grunting noises, and lives in London, but not in a cage? Yes. Do you eat it? No. It's a cow. No. How many legs? Has it got three legs? No. Has it got three legs? No. Three legs? no. Two legs. Yes. Oh, <laughs> 
much. I will. You'll have to help me. You'll be a bit busted. Right then. Here we go. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.
very, very much indeed. It seems to let you enjoy it very much. And, uh, and that's very gratifying. I've so much hard work. Um, I think there are a couple of things which should be said. And in fact, I, I'm going to take the liberty of asking you to stay with us for the next, what, 10 minutes or so. Perhaps it would be interesting to know what's actually gone into this. Hundred, over 100 children in the past, at average age 13. <coughs> 22 members of staff were involved in working on this show. Now, I defy any school to match that. I know because I've only just Mary, and I've been absolutely overwhelmed by the help that I've received working on this show. Two co-directors, four staff working on costume, many, many others throughout the school working on the show. And the youngsters are here because we know that. This is obviously to me a very, very special school indeed. I, I'm very new to it and uh, I'm very, very proud to be a member of the staff here. And I think that, that what's important for us to do now is to recognise the extraordinary amount of hard work that's gone into the show from members of staff throughout the school. And I'd like to, but I'd like to start with a few thanks. Firstly, to the absolutely fabulous PTA committee that we have at the school, who serve us in everything that we do. Chris Staples, the, uh, the, the, the teacher liaison, and his tremendous team are always there, just helping and supporting absolutely anything the school does. I've seen that already, because I was, uh, weeks after I arrived at the school, I was up singing and playing guitar. I was hauled into that. It's a wonderful, wonderful day for a bunch of people. I hope that a uh, representative from the building superintendents are here, the caretaking staff. Have we got anyone here that they managed to get in? Well, we have a bunch of flowers anyway for them to brighten up their day. But, uh, we're very grateful to them. We're a complete nuisance over the last 10, ten weeks. We've been in and out at a crazy time, Saturdays, late evenings, and they, they, they haven't just helped us um, and facilitated things for us. They've been up there hanging curtains. It's just incredible the amount of things that go on in the school. I'm still absolutely overwhelmed by it. I'd like to recognise the next backstage. Can I ask Tim, Matt, Adam, and Kim, who needs all the makeup people, to come forward? teachers with us. I mean, they're extraordinarily responsible young people. And the amount of work that they've done to get this amazingly complex show through, they just defies really well, well beyond their years. Thank you very much.
slide, Scrooge Christmas 90. And so that forever they will be able to remember this occasion because it's certainly one that I'll, I'll never forget. Um, next, can I please recognize, they're not here tonight, they've been to the show, and I'm going to ask the stage crew on Monday when they present some flowers to Mrs. Hodge and Mrs. Bruce. Now, anybody who knows them know the extraordinary work that they do. That program, as I told them when they produced it, is the best program I have ever seen for a school production. It's beautiful program, beautifully produced, and so I shall be thanking them. She has absolutely no job at all, but she does everything. Perhaps I can call her the everything teacher. If she volunteers her help, where it just she just pops up. She's the pop-up teacher. If you need anything done, you ask her, and that's it. If you don't particularly need anything done, she pops up, and that's it. She's been absolutely superb and supports you in every possible way, right up to feeding us until about 8 o'clock at night. She just uh, a superb support in every way. So can I ask Mrs. Chalice, please? To come to the Yeah, no, 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 no
business manager. Every single bill that comes in, and, so, and, and there's a lot, there's a lot of nitty gritty that's in the bits and pieces. Car park, tickets, everything. And I just haven't honestly said a word to him about it. He's just told me what he's going to do. <laughs> and without people like Mr. Ray Brown, quite frankly, shows like this will never ever get off the ground. I'm very, very grateful to him. We are. Yeah. Yeah.
I, I just have the officers remember um, what we've tried to achieve here. I think they've achieved something which is quite beautiful and very, very important. On Tuesday, I arrived home after the show, switched on the television set, and listened to two politicians arguing about the fate of the homeless this Christmas, just after seeing this show. And, well, you are the future, so what are you, you going to do about it? We'd also like to thank teachers on the form of the present. We didn't get marked in the
Just lost size. Thank you.